Yo, what's going on, you nerds? Horcrux here, and welcome to the channel. So this is going to be a very serious video. Um, this is going to cover a lot of drama that happened about a month ago with uh, Gina Bruno and Rich Lambert kind of dropping the bombs about how they are quote-unquote working on things in PvP. So I got sticky notes everywhere. A lot of notes we're going to look at and take care of in this video. But before we get into all that, huge shout out to my patrons and also my community me members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and the channel. I honestly couldn't do it with you guys. Thank you for funding my crippling addiction to uh, mechanical pencils. Just uh, some random items I have here. But yeah, you know, suspects. Uh, these are really nice to reduce blue glare. Been having a lot of headaches. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll see if they work. See if they're worth their money. Anyway, so what am I talking about, guys? Um, about a month ago, um, Godzilla, love him as a creator. He actually hopped into Rich Lambert's, streams, uh, uh, Rich Lambert's stream on Twitch. I asked him some PvP questions. And surprisingly enough, guys... They reacted. They answered. They wanted a set of videos. This is over a month ago. And in this video, I'm really going to push the envelope because I want Zilla to follow up on what he did a month ago, right? I want to know, like, kind of where the interview is at, what kind of, where they're at in that process because that honestly sparked a lot of hope in what I have going on in PvP. I mean, community managers are actually reaching out to kind of bridge the gap between the PvP community. It sounds absolutely amazing, but I feel like it's the ball's been dropped. Like, don't want to call anyone out, but that particular video did not have a lot of views uh, on, you know, Godzilla's channel. So I can only imagine that uh, just kind of in it for views. But, you know, I know there's a lot of Godzilla fans out there, but this is a huge undertaking. He has been elected to be the PvP representative, so to speak. No one else and no, no the devs do not reach out to anyone else, but they did reach out to Godzilla ESO. So it's very important for him to do this correctly. And carry the torch and do what he's got to do to get this done. It's been over a month. We've not had any updates for this. If you guys, fans of Zilla, please reach out to him on his channel. Ask him, hey, where this is at. Really push the envelope. Now, uh, I will have some clips from uh, his video just so you guys have reference. I'll let some of them play out here in just a moment. Um, the first clip I'm going to kind of show you is um, him uh, in dialogue between him and uh, Rich Lambert and uh, also Gina Bruno. Right now, performance in PvP sucks well what? let me say it differently performance in pvp during prime time in cyrodiil sucks now during his stream i asked him several questions about pvp like potential fixes for you know lag and whatnot some dk bug fixes and all of that which ended up leading me to yoloing direct messaging him on twitch asking if he'd be interested in talking about some of the points he made uh, in an actual like interview or something of that sort hopefully providing us some insight for the pvp community which to my pleasant surprise he actually replied to me and told me to message gina bruno the community manager for eso so now that you guys are pretty much all caught up with the story, now we can, you know, kind of start from now and, and kind of explain, you know, my communication with Gina and if we're possibly going to land that interview in the future. So I said, hey, Gina, I hope all is well. I know you're busy, so I'll cut right to the chase. I think ultimately a lot of the disconnect with the PvP community has been communication and I'm wanting to bridge that gap. I remember when you guys right before COVID-19 did these monthly updates on performance progress. That alone really eased tensions in the community, but it soon faded after it discontinued. I'm wanting all sides, the developers and the community, to understand the task and the issue from each other's perspective. Because if fixing lag was so easy to fix, it would have been done already. It is a complex and tedious process, and I think for my community, it would do some good to hear that PvP is at least talked about. Because sometimes when the team as us says we're working on performance, we feel we've heard that time and time again, and it's just empty words. That's not to say you guys aren't working on it. That is to say that a lot of us have lost hope of ever returning to the glory days of ESO PvP lag free. I hope at the very least, if you guys have any concerns or questions for me in the future, we could create some dialogue where if my input could be of use to the betterment of the game, I would gladly give it. As I played this game since launch on console and I truly enjoy this game and want all the new players to experience what I did, when I first started PvP. And then she goes to reply, hey there, I was actually watching your video last night about his comments on PvP. Let me think about it. I'm not inherently against the idea, but I wonder if there's a way to get the info out to a broader audience. For example, if we had you both on the ESO Live to have a deep discussion about the concerns and problem space. Would your idea have to be on your live stream, something pre-recorded or written? Which I replied and said, hey, thanks for getting back to me. It doesn't really matter how we do it. I prefer either live stream or pre-recorded. We could do it on ESO Live or my channel. It doesn't matter. I just think it would be some, of some benefit to the PvP community to hear Rich talk about performance, even the acknowledgement he gave during a stream 
sparked a lot of hope. And she goes to reply, okay, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. I agree with you that the PvP community could use some updates and communication. We just need to talk about the best way to relay that info and how much we can realistically get into. And I replied to her, yes, I think so as well. I really appreciate the effort and so does the community. It really speaks volume. Have a good weekend. And again, guys, no hate to anyone. This is completely positivity from this video. I want nothing but positive comments. You know, down there, don't get too toxic, guys, because this is a, an amazing thing uh, coming to ESO. I really hope they follow up on this. Um, he did mention um, a few comments of like uh, what Jenna Bruno could uh, speculate on, what she's allowed to talk about. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there that it's some sort of NDA agreement uh, with the Xbox Game Studios. It's kind of keeping them from talking about too many things. Because, uh, like you said, they are working on some uh, other AAA games and some stuff behind the scenes that we don't know. Um, but uh, a, a few points I want to add to his video. His video covered really well, so kudos to him. Please give him a shout out, like, sub, you know, whatever. He's growing exponentially, a really good content creator. Um, some things that um, I would like to follow up on myself. If you guys have connections with anyone on Zoss, please post this video as well because I would be more than happy to help bridge the gap between the PvP community and the developers as well. If Godzilla does want to undertake it or he's just overwhelmed or everything's got going on with life, like I understand it's not it's not easy. Um so if someone needs to do it, if Godzilla doesn't want to do it, man, please let me know. I will happily take over the undertaking because I want to make PvP in ESO great again. Please give me the honor. That would be great. So uh, a few things I want to kind of talk about here. Um, we've already kind of talked about NDAs. I, I, I'm speculating on that, of course, but I do think it's uh, some sort of NDA agreement uh, since Microsoft has kind of joined, uh, jo well, kind of bought out Zenimax. So, um, the comments to Performance and Cyrodiil from Rich Lambert. Um, I honestly think that's a cop out. Um, Cyrodiil is done, guys. Uh, this may be an unpopular opinion, but you want to know how to fix Cyrodiil? Get rid of it. It's it. It's honestly done. It's too big. It's, you know, it's seven years into the making. It gets worse and worse, you know, with the comments to Volan Drung and the destructive environment. Man, like, revert it. They haven't even reverted it to help performance at all. So, in my opinion, guys, please just remove Cyrodiil. Completely remove Cyrodiil. Rich Lambert's scapegoat is, hey, we don't want to fix anything else PvP related, bugs, and whatnot, until Cyrodiil is fixed. It is, it, it's unfixable. I mean, it's, it's been seven years. You guys haven't done anything about it in the past three years. Just just chop it up. Have some sort of lore to toss Cyrodiil into Oblivion, a Plains of Oblivion. I don't know, to a, a, appease the, the lore junkies. I, I don't really know. So the advantages of this. First of all, people will be really butthurt. Not going to lie. Um, I will. Everyone's going to be butthurt. But here's what you can do. All those people that are in Cyrodiil, they will be forced to go elsewhere for PvP. Whether that be Battlegrounds or that would be uh, Imperial City. Right? So, if that's the case, open more servers in Imperial City because, as you guys know, Imperial City performs so much better on a monumental scale. So, if it's forcing all of the Zerglings down into the sewers of Play IC, I mean, by all means, do it. I mean, I think everyone will have a much more enjoyable time. The map is smaller. There's less running simulator, running from keep to keep. There's more incentive because, like, there's sets, there's Telvar stones. You get incentivized that a lot more, you know, for PvP. Again, you know, open servers to fix the, some of the RAM usage or, you know, wh whatever. Whatever's making the servers lag, like, just open more servers because there's going to be a lot more people down there. Also, what this also leads into, sorry for using also way too many times, but... This leads to Battlegrounds, so this is my second suggestion. If you want to fix PvP, assuming we get rid of Cyrodiil, have custom Battlegrounds, okay? Make up your own rules, devise your own teams, give us access to the maps somehow to make our own games out of it. Guys, like I said in one of my previous videos on, you know, Zaz lying to us, you know, whatever, whatever the title of that uh, video is, I'll toss it somewhere maybe um, after editing. But essentially, give us a game mode we can customize, and by allowing us to make our own games, our own PvP, the players are taking the load off of your developers, right? So not only are we paying to play the game, but we're also paying to make the game, but we're doing the work for you. Like, we're paying you to let us do the work for you. Like, come on. Like, you can incentivize that. Zoss, I will buy... A 5,000 crown, you know, whatever access to these maps just so we can customize them. And that leads me into my third point and the, the true in game of ESO is fashion and housing. Housing has so much potential. It's individual servers. You can have up to 25 people on the servers. And if you give us more control 
over the housing we can make the game for you we can make our own environments again we can make our own game modes 1vx rings whatever just give us the power to make eso great again and a lot of you may say oh well you don't want the players to have too much work because you know uh, pvp is dead blah, blah. well guys half you all already saying pvp is dead anyway like what's it gonna hurt cereal is trash i mean um, let's be honest like during prime time it's trash unless you play like Delta does, he's a very smart man. At like 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, the game is trash on uh, PCNA. Anytime after that, the Zergs hop on and until 2 in the morning. It's 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 absolute dog crap. I mean, it, it really is. So let the players have some of the power and make game modes for you and make content for you and make maps for you. If you guys have checked out Delta's Halloween event, I don't know if you guys seen some of those houses. Oh my god. Most of those houses and setups... Are better than what's in the game now with a lot of creative sense like eso's player base is so creative and so smart and so passionate about the game they would make the game better just give us the power to do so zoss please if you're watching this i don't know if that's in your realm of possibilities but let your players create your game for you i mean that's that, that's what you guys have left at this point to be honest you know anyone watching this serial really talk about it serial's done like we're over the map has gone under like no changes like there's no incentive for open world there, there's no way to break up the zergs it's it's, it's just like us it's always gonna be like that so please consider just removing serial on a two three four months however long it takes to fix it but in the meantime give us some other pvp alternatives so sorry to y'all sidetrack there um a little rant fellas and uh yeah that's that's really had uh all i had on my sticky notes um to be honest um again Godzilla did a really good a really good job on following up and getting in touch with the developers. Um, I just wish he would follow up on that or at least give me some information, DM me, you know, whatever, man. Just let me know what you need. If you need help with anything, I'll be glad to set up a combo with you. And I, I want to get this ball rolling because we're super passionate about PvP and I just want to see PvP be great again. So uh, with all that being said, guys, let me know down in the comments if you agree with anything I said agree disagree again please keep it positive because it's the holidays and the last thing we need is a bunch of salty Santas on uh Christmas so Scrooges Grinches whatever you want to call it salty I like salty Santas <laughs> it's a nice little ring um, again guys uh this has been Horcrux so let me know again what you guys think in the comments thank you for doing in today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace